So I have a simple program here that uh, will move forward if nothing's in front of it. So as long as the distance is sensing less than eight, if it does stop, if not, move forward. Let's say I wanted to count the number of obstacles that actually comes across um, during the whole thing. So I need this bot to have some memory. I need it to remember the last time it encountered something and basically start counting it up. So really I need to use a variable. So down here in the I guess dark orange, which is slightly darker than control. But uh, anyways, I want to make a variable. I'm going to call it obstacles because that's what I want to count. Okay. You get a couple options that pop up. The rounded edge that you get to plop into um, anything that has rounded edges. You have a set uh, the obstacles to zero. I'm going to throw that in at the start because we're going to start with, well, zero obstacles. The program just started. Um, and you also have a change obstacles by one. So if the program stops, I'm going to change that obstacle by one. Basically, it's going to add one every time this thing stops, which kind of makes sense. Because um, once it changes from zero to one in this loop, it won't go back to setting the obstacle to zero because that's outside the loop. Next time this happens, it's going to increase, change it by one again. It'll go from one to two. Great. So it's counting. Um, but it's counting and keeping that information to itself. So I'm also going to look at the display and use that to keep track of uh, and basically to tell me um, how many obstacles there is. So I'm going to tell it to write at the within this loop, write obstacles, which I'll go back to my variables, grab the rounded one. I'm going to write obstacles at line one. I don't know how many lines there is on the front display screen. So basically, this should display the number of obstacles that it's encountered as it encounters them. It's going to count up from that. And just for funsies, I'm going to look at the other display items in here. So if it is stopped and it's reached an obstacle, um, I think I want to change the status lights too. Instead of green, I want it to show... Uh, red, maybe even red pulse, because, hey, there's something in front of me. There's an issue. Come fix it. Um, and then when things are good again and it starts moving, I'll change that status light to green. We're good to go. So variables can be super useful. It gives your bot memory. You can remember something and use it someplace else. Um, here, we're just using it to count up the number of obstacles, but you could use it to remember the position based on a gyro um, of a certain location or remember its heading, uh, whether it's going, you know, north, south, east, or west, 0, 90, 270, or, you know, 360, um, or 180. Uh, and remember the direction that it's going so it can go back to that direction or remember and find an object or sense a distance to something and remember that distance and use that distance somewhere else to go forward that much. Um, lots of it opens a lot of doors um, once you can remember something and update uh, that memory and you can make as many variables um, as you want. Just make sure they have different names.